Hello and welcome to the Village Chapel on this Friday in this season after Pentecost. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right and by your merciful guiding may do them through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 through 23. Jesus said to the disciples, See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly, I tell you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is continuing in chapter 10 to prepare his disciples, sending them out into the Jewish towns. And here he is letting them know what they may be in for. Before, in our last lesson, he's telling them to travel light and not to take unnecessary things with them, but to rely upon the hospitality of the people in those towns. And now he's telling them, in addition to being rejected, in addition to people perhaps slamming their doors in your face, you might be called up before the authorities of that town and you might be persecuted by them for saying what they consider as Jews to be heretical, for saying that the Messiah is here, and that Messiah is Jesus of Nazareth. They may consider that heretical. They may consider it even blasphemous. And so be prepared. Jesus is telling these fledgling, young, green, would-be apostles the truth. And let's remember, years down the road, after Jesus himself is crucified, all of these disciples, except perhaps for John, are going to die violently and at the hands of these same people that he's talking about. And so Jesus is saying, be prepared. And as he always said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because I'm telling you, whatever they do to me, and they're going to do their worst to me, they'll do to you too because of me, because you're with me. But it's all right. I will conquer this world. I will overcome everything that this world can do to me and to you. Don't be afraid. Don't let anything they say to you 
bother you. And don't be anxious in your preparation for persecution about what you're going to say. Don't let that tie you down. Be focused on the message and the good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't be distracted by how am I going to prepare my case in front of the magistrate of the Gentiles or the Jews who wants to take me down, imprison me, persecute me, maybe kill me. Don't be worried about that. Just stick to the message. Stick to the message, and then when the time comes and you're standing there, the Holy Spirit will guide you into the truth and tell you what to say. If anything, maybe there won't be anything to say. Jesus stood silent at one point in front of Pilate, knowing that anything that he said at that time uh, might not work out for the salvation of the world. So we're told Jesus kept silent. Maybe that's what we'll have to do. Who knows? But we shouldn't be afraid of being persecuted. That's the last thing that Christians today should be worried about, especially in this country. And I know people are saying there are all kinds of people out there wanting to in some way impair and interfere and impede with our free expression of our faith. Okay. Don't be afraid of those people. Don't ever be afraid of that. Okay. Stick to the message. Stick to the message of the gospel and let whatever else happens, happen. Trust that the Holy Spirit will be there as your comforter and your guide into the truth if you need to say anything on behalf of Jesus. Thanks be to God.